Hi, this is the second video in the video documentation series for uh, Adam and this is my client website and I'm going to show you in this video I'm going to show you that how you can actually sell your courses with the member press. So uh, one of the good good news is that all of our uh, uh, courses are selling in the th three tiers of the membership. So what we need to do is that we simply need to create the membership and I'm going to show you that how we are going to use the member press rules as uh, on your website and how, why the member press rules are called the brain of the website okay so we have already our all the memberships created and everything is set up you don't need to change any of these things except i'm going to just to show you i'm going to uh, create a new membership and i'm going to add a pricing each and everything and uh, i'm going to show you that how you can actually sell your course with this membership okay so this is uh let's just create our first member so give this membership a name we we'll call it um demo membership okay and now that's it we just need to simply add a name and we can actually add a, de a description of uh, the membership but the most important thing is that the pricing term of the membership term for example i say uh, it's a 99 dollar either it can be the one-time payment which is for the lifetime also we can actually define if that person makes a one-time payment for how long he's going to get, get an access to for example if i say expire after um uh, I would say a one month okay and I also allow the re renewal okay second option is that recurring uh, recurring membership I say that uh, this is a monthly membership a user pay a monthly fee of $99 and uh, they will keep on getting an access to the content of the courses that we are selling and one more thing is that we can actually define that for how long user can get an access to for example if I, if I define that it should have only the 12 cycle for example for uh, Trial cycle which is equivalent to the one year after the one year user will not have an access to the membership okay I can also define the trial period and for example I say the trial period of seven days and user have to pay only nine dollar for these seven days so for the first seven days user is going to charge the nine dollar and then the rest of the amount will be charged for the next 30 days okay so this is how we do that but the good news is that we have only the one time recurring payment so we just simply set it and it should be the lifetime okay and just simply publish it now that our membership is created our main focus is to sell our course with that membership okay and in this part the member press rules are going to uh, play the most important role okay and there's a way to actually sell the individual course with uh, with the membership but i'm going to show you that how you can actually do that with the rules that applies on all the courses okay in 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 specific your scenario we have, we have to sell all of our courses okay and uh, i'm going to add a new rule rules are actually the brain of the member press without it member press cannot protect any content it's it's, it's an everything okay make sure you choose uh, all the courses because we are going to protect all our courses and also we can actually sell a one single course as well okay uh, let, let's just choose a one single course okay i will choose a single course and i name it lorem lorem and i'm going to choose which membership which membership is going to protect that so demo membership is going to protect it we can actually add a multiple memberships in that one as well for example membership and that is going to be the next membership add a membership this is going to be next membership we can also protect our membership on the basis of the member okay i i will type the member's name um, only the member uh, whose name i'm typing will be able to get an access to our course okay one more rule is that we can actually based on a rule only the subscriber administrator or the students will be able to actually get an access to that specific that's about it these are the uh, some of the rules that user will be able to get an access to uh, the content by using these rules okay you just simply save the rule and we're actually good to go okay now we have to check that is our course is protected or not so we can see our uh, lower membership course is protected with the demo membership not all others are protecting other demo memberships why all these uh, other uh, membership names are showing uh, because there's a previously i have added one more uh, role inside the member press which actually allows all other membership to protect all the courses that are going to be added in the future so you don't need to make any of those changes okay 
So uh, that's about it. And if you have any questions, just feel free to ask me. Uh, thank you so much.